Sarah Connor do? We're going to be right back. Run. Stay with Alex us. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. City of Austin tap water versus filtered City of Austin tap water. I can like taste dirt in it. God knows what's in this. These people just sampled City of Austin tap water straight from the faucet. Next, we had them try a sample of tap water filtered through the Pro Pure G2.0 filtration system. That one is better. Tastes like nothing. Yep, I know what good water tastes like. It's good water. Most tap water contains added substances like fluoride, chlorine, glyphosate, and many others. Studies prove that these substances are linked to an assortment of major health issues, including tooth decay, lowered IQ, and even cancer. It tastes like you're drinking out of the lake when you're drinking tap water. The Pro Pure G2.0 filtration system removes these deadly substances, leaving only fresh-tasting, deliciously clean water. Okay, this is very tasty. It's good water. Refreshing. It's good. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today, use promo code WATER, and save 10% off your Pro Pure purchase, or call 1-888-253-3139. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and get the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic. It's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. And we're going to be taking your calls. Uh, the number is 800-259-9231. That's 800-259-9231. Call us and let us know what you think about what's going on in the Ukraine, what's going on at our border, what's going on in your life. What are you concerned about? What is the thing that you're most concerned about as you see the American economy, the American rule of law being attacked on multiple fronts? That's uh, coming up. We're going to have Paul Craig Roberts joining us at the next hour. We're going to be talking about what's going on in Ukraine. And of course, uh, he was an economist in the Reagan administration. We'll be talking to him about the economic challenges that we're up against as well. You know, it's been two years since I came to InfoWars, and it's amazing to me to see how much it has changed. How many reporters we've hired, things like the new studio, where we're trying to get the nightly news syndicated out to multiple television stations. The ability to be able to go out and cover things like the Bundy Ranch, like the Asymmetric Warfare Center. We've got reporters right now down at the border covering that, showing you 
what the border looks like from both the air going through the border, taking a, a video camera, walking through the border. That's the sort of thing that we can only do with your help, with your support. And you've been very good about doing that. What we have decided to do here is, of course, we don't depend on the government to give us funding. What we've decided to do is to offer you primarily health products because we know that there's a war on your health as well. So Alex has come up with a line of health products. We have subscriptions to the prisonplanet.tv. You can support us with that operation. But right now we have some great specials. We've got the fluoride shield. That's a chelating uh, detox, a chelating detox. It's 25% off of that. And if you get that in conjunction with the X2, which is selling out quickly, you can get that for 30% off. Now, that's something that has uh, almost sold out. It took us a while to get uh, uh, Silver Bullet back in. It took us about two and a half months. It's a very difficult process to manufacture this. At the rate it's being sold, it'll probably sell out in about a week, and it's going to take us about a month to get that back in once it does sell out. But that's going to be available. That is available right now for nineteen ninety five. And also we have some specials on super male and female vitality that is uh, getting rave reviews. Something that you can do to help your health, to help your family's health, as well as support the operation. Again, that's Fluoride Shield. That's 25% off. Uh, if you get it with X2, you get 30% off of both of those. Now, as we were just talking before the break about the government doing things under the color of law that they don't really have the authority to do. This story out of a website called theorganicprepper.ca, this is the Michigan Department of Agriculture. And again, I mentioned that, how they came down on the hog farmers, put all of them but one out of business. He fought them for years and nearly bankrupt him. And finally, they say, all right, you can keep them, but nobody else can have that particular type of pig. And of course, they maintained that they were a feral species because they had hair on them. Well, they had hair on them because he was looking for that kind of species because he had them free range instead of packing them into a small factory environment. But look what they did now to this food co-op. Michigan Department of Agriculture forces a farmer to dump 248 gallons of organic milk and break 1,200 free range eggs. Now, it's not just busting the eggs. They watched them as they broke each individual egg, that's 100 dozen eggs, and they watched them break every single egg. And then they made them take this organic milk and spray it. And they watched that. They witnessed it to make sure that they were spraying it. They also destroyed an undisclosed amount of fresh cream, butter, and cheese. This is something we're seeing over and over again. And of course, what they said was, uh, you don't have uh, a license to sell this food. And they said, well, we're not selling it. We're not retailing it. We're a co-op. And they say, well, we don't like your paperwork. They ask, why is it that when they make real food on a real farm, why is that a crime? Why is fresh food being treated like it was crystal meth? That's the point they made. And of course, the, the reality is that just like raw milk, why they cracked down on raw milk, it was to protect the factory milk producers, big agra. They didn't want the competition of fresh organic milk. And so they started coming after them primarily in the states like Wisconsin, where they had a big dairy industry. But it's not just that. They don't want us to own anything. The large corporations don't want any competition. And one of the ways that you make sure you don't have any competition is to make sure that nobody else actually owns anything, has any property, has any businesses. We know how this has worked out uh, when it's done to the extreme. Look at Hugo Chavez's socialist paradise of Venezuela. Bloomberg has pointed out multiple times and bragged about what a good investment Venezuela is for bondholders, how they've gotten over seven, uh, nearly 700%, I think it was 681%, nearly 700% return on their investments. And you have bankers saying, this is great. They understand where their first priority is. Their first priority is their sovereign debt. Meanwhile, meanwhile, in the same article, they're pointing out that the people are having to go to other countries in order to get water, in order to get medicine, because they have taken everything from, they've destroyed all private property, that's what socialism does, it's communism and socialism on the bottom, but on the top, 
It's crony capitalism. That's what we're getting here. We're seeing small businesses, small farms being driven out of business so that the big agra, big corporations, big banks have a total monopoly on what's going on. And it's not just there where they're going after illegal goods. You know, there's also an article that comes uh, out of truthandaction.org. New York Department of Homeland Security will pay you $500 to rat out your fellow citizens who are buying legal goods, legal goods. Okay, they're not even trying to say that they are illegal. They're saying that uh, these are things like they could use for survival, things like ammunition, MREs, that's meals ready to eat, flashlights, match containers, gas masks, and other things that they think might be something a prepper would use. So if you see somebody doing that, if you see something like that, you need to say something about that. You need to report people like that. You need to snitch on them. Here's the thing. When I was researching the Asymmetric Warfare Center before Joe Biggs and I went there, I saw these people talking about the asymmetric warfare that they were conducting in Iraq at the time and talking about many different places where they had gone in. They said, the way that you tell, and these are, these are people, these are the generals who had fought there. They said, the way that you tell whether a government is legitimate or not is based on the amount of force it needs to apply in order to stay in power. I think that applies here. We see that being escalated so much more as our government starts to get into so many different areas where they have no legitimate authority. And also, I think you could extend that and say that as the government becomes increasingly paranoid about its own citizens, it's up to something. It's not only not legitimate when it needs a lot of force to keep people in line, but when it is building force, you know that they've got something illegitimate down the pike that they're getting ready to do. So another story, we covered uh, the one from Adon Salazar that was uh, linked to on the Drudge Report about these illegal alien gang members arrested for murder of a homeless man earlier. I want to play you the clip that was on the radio program. As we pointed out in the article... They didn't say that these were illegal aliens. They only mention it very quickly in the clip. And you have to listen carefully for it because they don't use those terms, illegal aliens. They use the preferred term of the government, of the mainstream media, and that is undocumented immigrants. Here's that clip. 92-year-old Margie Hargrove says her heart has been broken by the murder of her grandson. A beautiful boy. He wouldn't bother nobody. Yet these six young people, ranging in age from 17 to 23, several of the members of the notorious MS-13 gang, killed Jones early Tuesday morning along this stretch of Huron Avenue in Suitland. Investigators believe Jones said something offensive to the 17-year-old girl, and she went to her fellow gang members for help. Bottom line is, it's six on one, yes. And we ultimately learn um, after autopsy he is stabbed. Um, several times in the upper body, which caused his death. The six young people, all undocumented immigrants, are charged with first-degree murder. The end result of a fight Margie Hargrove says Amos Jones wouldn't have started. If he never tried to pick a fight, he never bothered people enough for them to kill him. Well, the six young people charged yeah. in this case are all being held without bond. In Prince George's County, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. The six young people who did that, and of course, one of them, the lady who began the argument with the 56-year-old homeless man that was beaten to death was, as I reported earlier, 17 years old. That means that she is one of those children coming across the border. Turns out that they're also illegal aliens who are MS-13. Let's go to some of your calls here. Let's go to Joe in Pennsylvania. You wanted to say something about the immigration situation, Joe? Uh, yeah, I got a lot to say. Um, the whole thing, I, I, you know, I think if people took a big step back and looked at the whole big picture, um, we are being infiltrated. And it's not just a matter of bringing in immigrants. These people that they're bringing in are eventually going to be used against us to tear the infrastructure of the country down from within. Um, they're going to be catered to. I mean, average American citizens now, we're, I mean, you might as well call an American citizen an illegal alien because oh. we're treated worse than they are. 
Oh, absolutely. Oh. Over and over oh. again, we point that out. Look at what happened to that journalist who had docu he had he wasn't an undocumented immigrant. He wasn't an undocumented traveler. He had a passport for himself, for his family. And then they hassle him a little bit more. Well, do you have permission to travel with your children? And that's the kind of games that they play. But this is a strategy to take down the country, as we pointed out. They strategized about this back in the 1960s. Cloward and Piven, two socialists, wrote that what they needed to do in order to remake the country into their socialist paradise.